Good morning. We have a company that we run from our home. It's called Interior Fashions, IF. And we have a website, ifdraperies.com, that we encourage you to visit to see a lot of the projects that we've done. We specialize in creating custom window treatments. That would be swags and cascades and cornices and bedding. And today what Mariam and I are going to do is show you how to create a very simple pillow. Mariam is the seamstress and also she is the window treatment designer. So let's go into Mariam's cutting room and sewing room and show you exactly what we're going to teach you how to make at home on your own. We're simply going to cover the previous original pillow with a new fabric and add a zipper. And we're going to show you how to cut the fabric, how to sew it, and how to add the zipper. Now here's the fabric that Mariam is going to use and tell us, Mariam, how you cut it. The original pillow was 18 by 18. So when Mariam cuts the fabric, she cut it about an inch longer to 19 by 19. And she cut two panels for the front and the back. This is the zipper. The zipper. And it comes on a roll that you can buy at any fabric store. Um, we will use here two inches inside, two inches inside and each side, this side and this side, two inches in for put the zipper. For put the zipper. Okay. Okay. But you can not see good to make it a little bit uh, cut a little bit. To make some sign. Okay. Okay. The zipper we can put front out one inch out one inch out the design one inch and one inch here in the side the another side okay okay let's go to put the zipper in the machine and you make the sign here to put the zipper sometimes one inch Four. Okay. Make a sign to. Okay. Look. Stand up. Okay. The flower has to stand up in the correct position on the fabric. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this thing here. You have to sing, say here. So she stitches two inches yeah. on that side. Two and she's going to stitch two inches on the bottom side. This is where the zipper will go. We have to put the fabric in this position, uh, on another side, you see, because this, this piece is in lap over, it's lap over. Sleeper over. Can 
you see it? The zipper has to be to be high. She's adding the pin so that the zipper will not move as she sews it. Very important to hide the zipper itself so you don't see it. Now you do not see the zipper itself on the outside. Okay, we open the zipper a little bit and start seeing sound from here. Open the zipper when you finish the sound around, you have how you flip it over. Okay? Done with the pillowcase? Yeah. Okay, let's go test it out on the customer's pillow. The important thing is the zipper, the flip uh, uh, is the lap over, lap over. Um, you can see the zipper when you put in the sofa or whatever and the patterns the stand up and look at the yeah. and that's how easy it is to create your own new fabric on an existing pillow. Yeah. 